hey guys so welcome back to my channel today we will be writing the program uh, like a recommendation system so have you ever been uh, visited uh, movie uh, ticket uh, websites and all and have seen uh, at the below of the website that recommendation movies and all it is showing to you according to your recent views and your interest so basically we will be performing the same uh, algorithm writing the algorithm used on that website uh, the same uh, algorithm can be written on the various uh, types like uh, you can make a music re recommendation you can write a uh, news recommendation uh, articles like tags and products basically so it is basically all dependent on the trending or you can find the interest of the user according to its view and what he likes and all so it can be used on basically any kind of thing or recommendation system so let's start writing the code initially import all the files which we require so today we will be required the panda uh, Okay, sorry. Now uh, I I have downloaded some files that we will require for uh, like a data set. You can see of the movies. So I will be using that. You can use any of the files uh, really, uh, having that kind of thing. So don't worry about that. You will find easily on the net, and also I will uh, attach the files in the description, so you can get from there. Here I am defining the column names that I will be using. Oh, I can first user ID, item ID. I prefer all in small, then rating, and then time. So all done. Now uh, what I will be do? I will be fetching the file. So let's define the path for the file. Okay. So initially I am importing the rating file. So I will say I have a file called rating in TSV format. You all know that uh, it is a tab specific. So I am using this kind of file initially. You can use like CSV file also. Now pd panda dot sorry dot read underscore csv using the csv reader for the tsv file. So how we do that is we define the path, then we define the separation type equals to tab separation. So here we write the tab, and then what are the name basically name specifiers are the column names. So yeah, done with this. Now we have to define the headers. So we will say df dot head. So all done with this. And now let's see what's the output. Sorry, it's not acceptable. Okay, so here's the error. It says that unaccepted argument name. Okay, I agree. It's names. Now let again run this. So yeah, we got the output. I have some uh, data for these much of movies. So here you can see the user ID, which user has done the rating item id then we will importing uh, item file id uh, sorry item file then time when the uh, rating has been done and the rating which has been provided by the user specific user so i have this much amount of user data so yeah we have done with this okay fine so the next step would be we will importing the 
movie file which will say the movie titles according to the movie id so now let's just say movie titles equals to again we have to import the file so we have to use the panda reader let's say panda. now we have to specify the movie title file i have a file movie underscore id underscore let me just check yeah titles now i am using specific csv file for the same then again we have to set the header now again if you have to check this movie title it's simply just we are importing the file and checking whether it is working or not so again you got the file data item id which is used for this item id table item id and item id so basically what we will be doing is like it is the reference key for this data set so here is the concept of some sql so if you know uh, sql then it will be easy to know this and these are some of the movie names here you can see the titles and here are the indexing so pretty much we have done uh, importing the files okay fine so now in the next step what we will be do we will basically performing the join uh, uh, it is also a basic term in sql so let's perform that we are making the data using both the tables like uh, df and movie title so it is performed by using parcel panda dot we are merging these two tables so which two another is df and the other is movie titles on the basic of item id because item id is the reference key for the table on which we can say column name item id again we have to do the heading part it is all the basic codes which we are currently writing all you can do is in sql again let's check whether it is done or not so here's the we have done this user id and the title according to the item id so pretty much done we are here so